Hey everyone, let's take a look at the Ember Router Helper add-on. So if you're new to Ember.js, you may not have heard this, but controllers are eventually going to be phased out. Now I wrote a, I did a video about that Ember.js controllers are dead, question mark, earlier this year. And so far that has not come true. Ember.js controllers are still there and they're being used in plenty of different applications. In fact, the developers, the dev team for Ember has told us right now that they are going to continue with controllers for a while. They just haven't had time or the resources to put in to deprecate that feature. It's still something to think about. It's going to happen in the future, but it's going to take a little bit longer than we expected. So one thing you can do to help with that transition is to use the Ember Route Action Helper, and I'll explain a little bit about that. And so as it tells you here, the route action helper allows you to bubble closure actions, which will delegate it to the currently active route hierarchy per the bubbling rules explained under actions. And you can return values from it too. So I created a real quick, easy application to make it so we can take a look at it. So this is, I have one component called my component. And what I'm doing, I'm using the old send action for now, and I'll show you how closure actions works and then we'll use the route action helper. So if we look here we have uh, our application we just have an alert and we just have a button and then our index we put in the component. So what happens is when you press my press it triggers this press action which since we don't have a controller We'll go to the route. And that's due to the bubbling rules within Ember.js since we are using send action that works. So you can see here, press it, high from route. That's pretty good. So that's really simple. So let's see if we can change this to using closure actions first. So the first thing we need to do is we'll go here. Instead of using press here, we'll go like this. We'll go action, and we'll put press in here. And then instead of here in the component, instead of using send action, we can do this dot adders dot my press. And since it's an action, we can go ahead and uh, run it. So let's try that. See, there's already a problem. So let's take a look. Inspect. And it says there's an error. An action named press was not found. So you're probably thinking, why isn't it found? It's in the route right here, press. And it's here. This is trying to run this action that we're passing in to the component. but Unfortunately, this is one of the reasons that this add-on exists is that you, due to just the way Ember.js is, the component will actually look for the controller and it will say right here, it's not generated index controller. So it, it has to, you have to have a controller for it to work. So Ember.g controller, we'll call it index. go here and create an actions and we create press here we alert hello from controller now you get from controller but we want to get away from controllers because we know that eventually not soon but eventually controller is going to go away and we don't want to put a lot of logic inside the component itself we rather have have uh, actions um, data down actions up <clears throat> so let's take a look here so now we have this press here hello from controller but there's no way we can get it to get into our route. So now we're kind of stuck with this controller. So let's switch this to using our route actions 
Ember Route Action Helper. Okay, we'll go. We'll stop our application there. We'll go Ember install Ember Route Action Helper. Now it's installed. Start the server back up. I'm using Tmux here, so I'm going to go back to my previous screen. I'll make sure my server's up. Yep, back up again. So now this time, instead of having this my press and having a normal action, we're going to do route action press. And just to make sure we're doing this right, let's go back into our routes. Hi from route. So this should say hi from route now. And there it is, hi from route. So you can see now we bypassed the controller and we're using the route action instead. And so that way one day if controllers do indeed go away, we are able to continue on because we have everything in the route. So that is really neat. And we just did it with this one add-on. Okay, this is a real quick example how to use the Ember Route Action Helper. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks.